Happy Mercedes Inc. In this video, I would like to speak something about uh, the fuel distributor. Something I did not uh, have a chance uh, to show you on a right example. At the very beginning of the video, I would uh, like to thank myself to this man, Nadim Vajahat, or however you spell the name, my dear, please. Thank you, my man, for your donation. That means me a lot. And if any of my videos helped you repair your car, then please hit the button super thanks. And if you, yeah, you, want to be the first one to watch my video as it is uh, fully uploaded, then hit the button join. Thanks. So, if you want to help the channel, you can either donate on PayPal, I'll leave you the link in the description of the video, or you can click Super Thanks. Well, let's take the fuel distributor uh, as example. This goes for each of fuel distributors. It goes both for four, six, as well as for eight cylinder cars. So, one thing I didn't mention in all my videos in that series on the fuel distributor. So, if you want to watch that playlist, you will have a link here. There, in that uh, series of videos, I'm speaking about the fuel distributor and all there you can watch. But now I want to tell you what to do after you, for example, rebuild your fuel distributor and which are the first steps you will have to do. Once you, uh, you do your fuel distributor, after you reassemble it, your first steps would be to connect the fuel distributor to all its lines, except of these four, six or eight. So now what you want to do actually, you will have a, a, to check if you have done everything properly. And if you have, then it's okay. So the first step after you mount the distributor, after you screw these in, then and all the connections, as I've already said, then you then bridge the fuel pump and you turn the ignition on and then you just observe. In your ideal case, no fuel must run out of these ports as uh, the fuel, uh, as the airflow meter is not deflected, which looks like this. So, the fuel must start flowing out of the ports once you deflect the airflow meter unit. If you have done 
something wrong, it looks like this. If something like this happens to you, then this means that you could have uh, mounted, for example, these fittings and uh, they're on the wrong place. For example, this one that goes to the uh, fuel pressure regulator is being mounted here where the feed line is and not where the flow where the fuel flows back to the tank. It can also mean that, for example, your diaphragm is ruptured. Or it can mean that, uh, for example, the plunger is stuck. It's stuck somewhere at a certain place. And no matter how much you turn the mixture screw counterclockwise, the same thing happens. Well, that's now something else you will have to take in consideration. Or maybe you haven't tightened the screws as they are, they are supposed to and then the fuel starts leaking from the fuel distributor. So once you do everything as it is supposed to be, then it would be a good idea to find four, six or eight bottles that should be equal and for twice, you will have to do the flow test in one minute. So this test must last for one minute. That's what I wanted to say. For the first time, with uh, the airflow meter fully deflected, that way you're simulating uh, full throttle. And if the difference between uh, the cylinders is about 10%, then it's okay. So nothing uh, big is going to, to happen. No big deal. But afterwards, as you simulate the, the idle, as you barely deflect, the airflow meter and you simulate idle, of course, for one minute. And then, if you get the differences between the cylinders to be more than 5%, that's too much, then that means that you haven't cleaned everything inside the barrel, all the filters, everything, everything. And you will have to disassemble again the fuel distributor and to clean it up again. So remember, 5% on idle. That's the upper limit. The less discrepancy, the better. So. In order to check your fuel distributor after the cleaning, this is the first step you have to do. You will have to start the fuel pump and to do this. So here, none of the fuel must flow out uh, of uh, the flows. Mm -hmm. As you press here, here, now, no. now, here, that's it. So, if you liked this video, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos. Then, I would kindly ask you not to hit the button uh, skip add. 
that is going to help me a lot. And to some next one. Hyper Mercedes Inc. Bye.